Hey guys, this is Yo here again and welcome back to my channel. I've been using the latest Redmi 10 as my daily driver since one week ago. This is Xiaomi latest phone for the entry level segment. However, different from previous years, this entry level phone is priced slightly higher compared to other Xiaomi entry level phones from the last few years. So the question is, should you get it? A special thanks to Omaya Store for providing me with this review unit. Omaya Store is a mobile phone shop center in Klang Valley. Operating for more than 20 years in SS2 Penang Jaya, Omaya Store is your one-stop solution for mobile phones and tablet. You guys can check it out their official Facebook page. Type in Omaya Store or log on to their official website at www.omaya.com.my. First thing I want to praise about Xiaomi phones is that the back of their phones is always firm and feels solid to be held. Even on their entry-level plastic bag phones, it's firm and no hollow feel to it. And this white back cover, which is matte finish, is so nice to touch and feel. And also free from fingerprint smudges, which I think most of us appreciate. And the weight of this phone is 181 gram, with a thickness of 8.9 mm. So overall, the Redmi 10 is quite comfortable to hold. This phone has a 6.5-inch LCD screen with Full HD 1080p resolution. And viewing angles are actually okay, and under bright sunlight is usable as long as you bump up the brightness to 80 to 90%. The screen also supports higher refresh rate at 90Hz, which gives users smoother experience when scrolling the user interface and the application on the phone. So from my experience, most of the apps support 90Hz refresh rate, except for YouTube app which is still stuck at 60 hertz. But one thing I need to point out is that the screen refresh rate is still maintained at the highest 90 hertz, although the screen is not being used. So this will definitely drain some battery life when the phone is not used. The Redmi 10 packs the latest MediaTek Helio G88 processor, which is based on 12 nanometer chipset. And during my day-to-day -day usage, apps opening are responsive, no lag whatsoever. Gaming on this device is also good. It can handle almost all the games you throw at it at high settings. Genshin Impact is playable on this device but only at the low graphic and frame rate settings. And you guys can check it out my gaming test video on the Redmi 10 which I did last week. This phone has a quad camera setup. 50 megapixel main shooter, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro lens, and 2 megapixel depth sensor. For daylight shot, it seems like the 8 megapixel ultra wide performs better than the 50 megapixel main shooter. The main shooter photos look a bit dull under the same lighting condition. Macro shot on this phone is just okay. Night photography on this phone is underwhelming. Unfortunately, the ultra wide camera don't support night mode. As for videography, you can shoot 1080p video at 30 frames per second only at max. There's no video stabilization. Videos turn out to be shaky. So make sure that your hands are as still as possible or use a tripod to have a better video recording. As for sound output, this phone has a dual stereo speakers. I would say that the loudness is a bit average and there are lack of bass. But since this is an entry level phone, so I'm going to let it pass. Battery life on this phone is great due to the 5000mAh capacity. 8-9 to nine hour screen on time is expected on this phone 
with almost two days of usage. And with gaming can last you around six hours, depending on the games that you play. Overall, I'm happy with the battery life. It's just that it only supports 18 watt of fast charging. And full charging takes around two and a half hours, which is understandable at this entry level range. Other things I want to point out is that this Redmi 10 only supports 4G on my DG SIM card. I'm not sure about other telco companies, but on this DG SIM card, there's no 4G plus signal. And also there's a bug here, which make the app icon disappear or wrongly display, which can be fixed by pressing the app. And after you exit the app, the icon will re reappear. It's not a big deal, but just to let you guys know. So there you go guys, my full honest review on the latest Redmi 10. To be honest, this phone is not bad. But being priced at 649 ringgit Malaysia for the base model, which costs extra 100 to 200 ringgit compared to the previous Xiaomi entry level phones, I don't think that is worth it. And if you are using Redmi 9, just stick with it. At this price point, maybe Redmi 9T, Poco M3 Pro, or Redmi Note 10, be a much better choice. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, take care and stay safe. Peace guys.